right on in to the matches, dropping in to the fifth circle and onward if you're a little newer and hopping on board with our current leaderboard leaders, Bugga and Karos of Sentinels. Bugga, who we already saw qualify as a solo player last week, trying to get in and join Benji, Fishy, and Stompy as the first pairs of dual qualifiers. So many times in the past, Sundown, you know these players better than pretty much anyone. Uh, were you were you surprised to see Bugga's name up there as well? Not at all. Uh, I mean, as they're able to just rip apart po uh, Potent right there and still putting the AR pressure down. Bugga is a player who's always been kind of just below that S tier in terms of performance and like maybe competitive spotlight. Every uh, that could have went in a million different directions, and uh, <laughs> that, that wasn't what, what I ended up was happening <laughs> was that it went in a million different directions. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, though, uh, courage, uh, you ain't pulling it off, brother. What? I, I, I and I, you know, and I love you, but it ain't happening. I'm over it. It's I'll okay, give it. Bobby. I'll give it a solid <laughs> five out of seven here, just like the five points all of these guys. Oh, look at that! Have managed to get from the place transition. As you have Saint and Ifa running around on this low ground, catching Enzo on that circle rotation as everyone. Desperately trying to remain on the side of this mountaintop. Oh, and using the egg launcher there, but he's gonna lay one right in front of that player who went in for the challenge. So talented, but let's take a look here at the uh, elevated perspective because uh, Carey is gonna be up above Divine, and then Bugga still gonna be in the action as well. And Bugga pushes on in, does manage to take out uh, Nik Nikiski. Nikiski. Nikiski, sorry about that. And Ifa and his teammate are gonna go low. There's Saint. Saint just waiting this one out. That and Bugga actually picks up Divine as well to get back up to that effective HP. Oh no! Oh! Down. Saint with the Galaxy Brain level grenade launchers. You saw him take the low ground. He tells you to take the L as he fires those Easter eggs on up. He said in Happy Easter Sunday. Seven solo oh, riders out there. Oh, this is a Everyone nice else, lobby. I mean, yeah, this lobby is stacked as Excision picks up the elimination on the top. And Snoot, that's not, that's an infantry rifle, man, not a sniper rifle. That was gross. And then you can either, what you saw is break the floor and try forcing an edit down, or you can just edit all of the sidewalls in order to knock them down as Trake gets a fantastic edit peek there to pick up Enzo and U11. Great work from King Trake and Ghost Ryan, who I want to shout out a little bit. Ghost Ryan, another one of the young grinders who's been out there for a long time. And King Trake, if you're a little more familiar with the content creation side, he's been out there and grinding and was just, just outside of that top spot last week in terms of qualifying. I believe he was eighth on NA East when wow. there were six spots, so. Oh, he does manage to get on top of some players here. He's gonna tag him for 100 blue, goes into this, but drops down and then will hurt that one, but Sharp will fall. That was gonna be a very painful drop there for Nate Hill that could have gone south very quickly, but Nate managed to regroup, regain control. Yep, looking to just stay towards the outside of this rotation. If you look in the bottom right, since we are by Lonely, not a ton of variable terrain. As he drops down, finds Keys with a great 200 pump to the back. And that was an edit that he just disengaged from defending and wasting the resources for too long and happened to just stumble upon the player that was right in front of him, thus giving him some more shield and some more added protection. Nate Hill, right back in this. Yeah, and now we're into the top 15. So those placement thresholds coming at 15. 15, there you go, top right hand side of your screen, 11 through 15th gets you the three points. Basically fantastic solo effort coming out with four Elims and the top 15, already seven points for him. And look who's on that ultimate high ground, GB. Scary territory here for everyone in this lobby because when Saf and Zayt have that control, there are very few players that could stop them. This is gonna look really good for Saf and Zayt if they do manage to secure these, but the work is not done yet. A lot of talented players are still going to be in this fight. You have Ninja down low, DK Mango reverse, 2K, Sizz Lucky, who we've seen pop up quite a bit. Fume, I've seen his name a few times. Triumphs. 
DK Mango pushes on in. He's going to get beamed out by latency. And the elimination coming in reverse 2K is going to be out of the fight as well. Ninja still in the game trying to keep it going for his duo. You got King Trig that's going to be right next to him as well as Ryan. And Saf drops low. Oh, I, apologies on that one. I could have sworn I saw Saf drop low. But he still should be in that high ground position. You never know in these crazy moments, Sundown, what's going to happen. It does get so incredibly tense as we're getting to that last oh. placement threshold. Ninja trying to find some room on the tarp. Has a ton of mats and the heavy sniper as well. So now he's getting towards that front side of the Ooh, circle. Nice play. Great pump shot there, making sure he maintains the edit priority and then going out to try and chase, but can't quite find it. Now, your fume and Sizz Lucky, as no, they are separate. So those are the three solo riders still there with Ninja. Otherwise, it's two duos. And you see him trying to find the pump push with the heavy snipe, knows the players there. But honestly, getting to the top five with the solo rider at this point has been very impressive. Great shot oh. going out, but can he convert a little slow on that swap? He needs to grind it out and gets it. Great job to stick with it. Covered back oh, up. This is Will rough. he be able to get through, though? This is rough, well, Sundown. Well, no, Saf knocked one for him, giving him a little bit of space to buy up the other side. And that was going to be Ryan, who was at the mid-ground there. Going to pop those minis, get back into this fight, potentially. One elimination could bring him up to a decent amount for the health here. Just has to play this one out smartly. And he's going to get eliminated by Trig. But Trig, very well done from him. And Zate's going to be down low now. It's going to be three duos left alive. But Saf, the lone gunman standing for his duo because his teammate is going to be out of this one. Sizz Lucky and Trig. Trig's going to be in the mid ground. Saf over in that ultimate high ground. And Sizz Lucky, he's actually going to see him right in front. Trig is going for it. Trig continues to own that safe zone there, but it's continuing to tick away. And as far as health goes, Saf has that life lead. Campfire and bandages. He has campfire and 13 bandages. Saf can just drop the campfire and run back. If Sizz Lucky he's doesn't the, find him, he's shooting the he base. has to knock him. It doesn't matter. All Saf has to do is run around and not get wow. dropped, which he does no problem there. Coming out from Saf, brilliantly executed. He's played that high ground so many times to know he has the utility and the bandages. They're going to charge on in. This player is trying to get out. That's Bruzzy, but Bruzzy could not get out of that one quickly enough. Wend up falling in the siphon, kicks in just in the nick of time, messing around, picks up another one. Maybe he's going to find himself yet another elimination, but instead going up to the high ground, restabilizing, getting those minis out so he can get back to a fighting stance, but it won't matter because he's going to get cut down to size and will be out of this game. His teammate will not be able to pick him up and look at where this safe zone is going through. The hill, it, it's it's just very, very annoying to have to fight out of fight up that hill, build your way up, 90 your way in that situation, and then try and get to a safe area. Meanwhile, you got Smacked and Bravo that are in the upper uh, upper level here, owning owning this territory. That, and they were on that backside of the circle with the high ground, so getting that kind of double power position, able to just rain down shots as everyone else has to work upward. Now we're into that second. Uh, like the way the game has been rolling at this point. Yeah, and luckily for them, the circle ends up wow. going There's back bump, bump. over the high ground. So now we're into that top five. It's all about the eliminations and the victory route from here on out. And Smacked and Bravo still just raining down shots from above. And because they're going over the old builds, they still have a decent amount of materials. Tech going down there to a clinger dropped by Smack. So just great gameplay. Now straight up 2v2, Golden Boy and then cover themselves there. You have Bravo top right, TJ bottom right on the low ground. You can see they're working their way back through the old builds, but that's about to run out. So now they either have to use materials or force conflict, and they're running out of space and mats on the high ground. Here we go, Golden Boy. They're going to go right on in, potentially smacked. He's looking around. Bravo goes in. He's going to fly on down. TJ's getting hurt outside. Boyle's going to be inside of the, the box. The siphon is huge here. And the victory royale picked up for Boyle and TJ. Only two eliminations. And a Wes, and here are what they're playing for for Oceania, Asia, Brazil, and NA West. One spot in the Fortnite World Cup. Europe and NA East, four and three spots respectively. And we're on board with Bugga and Kuros, who just snagged themselves an elimination. Trying to get a piece of this action, but looks like 1v2. Oh, Ryan, he's going to be trapped inside of his own. Look at the builds. Look at the build oh, upgrade. Wow, they just upgraded completely. They went from, what was that, like 20, 22 builds to 100? That, that's, that's massive. That's right. massive. When players are going to edit in and just pop you with the pump. 
But the trap goes in. He's so good. Oh, and the trap goes in, and that's going to be one on to Siz Lucky and that's gets the next one as well. Karos is going to follow up with the elimination there, and that means more builds that they should be able to get. But Karos needs to be careful. Doesn't have a lot to work with. That was absolutely amazing by Karos. I'm not sure if you saw what he did there, but the player tried to push through with the heavy snipe and was yes. able to do it. And then he re-edited the cone to throw the ramp in the face, jumped at the same time. Yeah, so if you take a look at that bottom right-hand corner, about, I would say, 20% of the effective play space is going to be over water in the sixth circle. That's a little ridiculous. Ooh. Great shots coming out from Bugga, forcing <laughs> that player down, getting white damage, and gets the knock there, trying to find the other player as well. And the key for this target is that's the other high ground team. If they take them out, they now have sole control of the high ground. And, and also, look at the tracking, right? That, that's another thing you have to bear in mind, because he was beaming that one player, built up a little bit, got back to a, a higher position, and then went right back to the target, Louis. Louis has been on the defensive foot the entire time, never really had a chance to be able to get that, that moment to breathe, because Bugga and Kuros have just been all over him. I think there was a moment where they may have considered, like, do we hack at this or do we just keep going back, keep playing away from them and try not to engage in this fight? Get it, get higher into the top 10. Yeah, so Toph was able to take it away from him, but Bugga is out of maps. Like, li literally has zero. You can see that right below his feet right there. They're opting now to drop down. He's looking for the heavy snipe. Goes for a ridiculous no-scope. Doesn't hit it, but falls up. Oh. He can't build in that archway. He needs to be incredibly careful as Kuros gets the knockdown. Bugger could get sneezed on. Needs to find oh. it, but no. Lazarus Kiwi face picking that one up there. Spirit also getting the confirm. Creo is down, and we're getting closer to that last placement threshold inside the top 10. So five points for everyone so far, but now it's all gonna be about getting into the top five, then the victory royale. What a run there from Bugga and Karos. Now you got Cash and Joey, who have eight eliminations between the two of them. They're in the top 10, so more placement points. And a player, ooh, he tries to make that edit happen. So he can catch a player, but he's gonna find him on the ramp instead. That's Isu who goes down, both and them? another one on top. Well. Nice play there from Cash. That's gonna be a double. Maybe looking to make that one into a triple. Player's right in front of him. Does he burst in with that heavy snipe? Oh, he's gonna go up. He's gonna go up, and he did manage to hit him with a little bit of that damage. I thought that was like a 70, 70 hit with that pump. Yeah, Legendary he was looking to try and nasty. find it when he could. Trying to get the shot out. Great pickup on the oh, range, but wow. doesn't quite get the siphon fast enough. Now we're inside the top five. So seven players remaining. Fung and Kez KD. We saw they're in the second place up on the ultimate high ground. As that other player ticks out, you have packs on the mid tarp. Void and Kiwi face Whoa. trying to challenge up, but Void. Void got you, blown up. And he goes into the void. Won't be seeing you anymore. Now two V1 V1. Yes, those are two different shades of orange and light orange, I think. I don't know. I'm colorblind. I apologize. They are. They are. I got you covered. Okay, though. cool. I got you covered. Fung in the top right, packs <laughs> in the bottom right. And then you have everyone else, the stack on the wide. It's coming down to the final moments here, folks. You got Kez, who's going to push into the box, but Pax defends himself, and Kiwi Face continuing to play the safe zone. Fung and Kez with that high ground presence, and Kez is going to drop down low. Fung, they're engaging in two different battles right now. And Pax, well, actually, I thought that they were engaging Pax, but Pax is still going to be in the ultimate low ground. Now, where is this going to be going? Player's going to be right in front of him. Kiwi Face gets absolutely obliterated with the blue pop. A player pops up behind him. Him. Oh my word, and Fung, Fung catches him in the victory royale, but that... 15, so three placement points plus their elims. Looking now for top 10 as the next threshold. You can see the format there in the top right, but Tifu looking for a spot to set his feet and begin fighting again. Yeah, if he's going to be able to get into a fight. I mean, I've been on board with Tifu for a little while now, and he hasn't really had much of an opportunity to engage with anybody. And he's looking, he does see an opportunity now. He's going to throw down some damage, and that was some blue damage onto that player. And cracks the baller, trying to make him pay. That player is going to go low. Cloak, he's getting pressured too. That was the player that he was shooting at earlier. He, he only has seven builds, so he needs to be careful when he opts to use them here. Does work his way around the side. Oh, the goes in for the attack. Perfect tilt. Can he get back to Cloak and help him? Shot does not quite look like it connects. Now Aspect picks up the conversions onto Mistoris and Perfect Tilt almost into the top 10. Cloaksy still in the server as well, sitting on 75 effective HP. Tfue sees this guy right there, gets the edit, needs
seems to work his way back in, trying oh, to pair man. up with Cloaksy, and now we get to reset for a second as we're into the top 10. 11 points so far for the face duo. Make it 12 as Divinity, Divinity goes down, and Tifu trying to line up the next shot, and he is just doing work on this mid ground. I had mentioned before that Tifu really didn't get into a lot of fights. Well, he's been in plenty of fights, but Cloaksy is going to go down. Can Tifu bring this one back for his squad? He's going to get trapped on the mountain player right in front of him. Can he stay alive? He's getting shot at, but it's going to be TJ who picks him up. He got pinned literally between a rock and a hard place and could not get out of that one. Preston, Mio J, they're going to be up in the high ground here, but you see the bodies beginning to drop. There are so many players here that are having to deal with Old Man Mountain Sundown, and we already know that Old Man Mountain will always collect his toll, and that is exactly what's happening here. Only a few more players are going to remain. Tezza is going to be right outside. Goodbye, Tezza. And it's going to go down to Mio J and Preston. They're able to start sliding down, but they need to be careful because Mio J and Preston are going to be able to take shots. Mio J starting oh. to pressure down. Oh, Mio J goes down. Mio J goes down. Preston's going to be all the way up in the high ground. And he waterfalls. But as it currently stands, as far as health is concerned, the Clips should be able to win this. Tetra is just trying to put the pressure and he's going to go down and victory. Royale for the Bolt Duo. Wolfgang Crims, OT Spades, $10,000. First place have qualified their trip to New York. Second, uh, uh, Misfits Clicks and Misfits Septic. And finally, in third, Envy Lana, as well as Tyler15. And Zeke, you brought up something interesting for me with that team in third. Lana and Lana, I've heard so many of her names for him. It's French Canadian, Jack. I know. Lana. 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 But the dwarf. Lana. It's, Lana. It's really, it depends who you ask. You, you know, know what? He, he's accepted being called Lana now because we said it so many times yeah. the wrong way. It's our fault, right? Well, we take the blame. It's spelled that way. Blame the Americans. But Zeke, you mentioned 